Okay, in this video, we're gonna learn how to angle our building to a actual angle on the site, which we call uh, true north. So that way we're actually telling the program um, which way, which direction our building is actually going to face. By default, we use something called project north in Revit, which basically means that up is north on the screen, down is south on the screen, right is east on the screen, and west is over to the left on the screen. On the site plan though, however, when I import like Google Maps, um, typically we want north to be up, but we might want to show our structure, um, our house that's on that map to be angled slightly differently on the site. And so we could take the whole house and rotate it, but a lot of times that brings about a lot of errors in Revit because our model becomes more and more complicated the more we work with it, and then all of a sudden some constraints that exist are thrown off when we go and rotate our structure. So to avoid that, we're gonna do things the correct way in Revit, and we're gonna actually change the angle of our building in something that's called true north. You have to do it from the site plan, and in our site plan, we have these uh, triangle and the circle that's usually in the middle. We're gonna click on that, and we can change the angle to true north. Now, if you already have your image in the background, it's gonna change that, but we'll just rotate the image back so that way it's upright. So what I see here is I have zero degrees to true north. If I want my building, it, the degrees here works clockwise. So if I want my building to kind of face, let's say the inner part of this, uh, this area, I'm gonna just rotate it over, uh, let's say 90, then another 45, so I'm gonna say 135 degrees and hit enter. And then I can see that when I change, if I zoom out, and now only the properties of the site is being shown. Under my orientation, I can change that to true north and we'll see that the building itself has now rotated 135 degrees. So now it's kind of facing out this way. Now my map has also rotated 135 degrees. So what we have to do is bring that back and rotate it back around 135 degrees. I'm gonna make the pivot point over to where the house is, so I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna put that pivot point right on the house, even though I'm dictating where the map is gonna go. I'm gonna click anywhere for a first reference, and then I'm gonna swing that back around 135 degrees and click. And then that rotates my map in the correct direction, and it moves my, um, it makes my house still stay true to true north on my orientation. On my site plan, I'm gonna keep it now in true north, which means that my building is gonna be shown correctly on the site. If for some reason the map in the background isn't exactly where you want it to be, let's say things have shifted on you a little bit, we can click on the map and then use the arrow keys to nudge it in different directions. If you're zoomed out more, it'll nudge it a little bit signif more significant. If you wanna kind of detail it up a little bit more, uh, you can zoom in. And then when you use the nudge keys, which are the arrows, it's gonna be a lot more of a finer touch to get that into position. So right now I have my house here and I can also just click and drag, but sometimes it's harder to realize where you're at. I'm gonna click off of that. I'm gonna activate my crop view. And then now I have my building in true north positioned while on my site. If I go over to floor plan, I'm still in project north for my orientation, which is good. We can keep it there. It's a little bit easier to design in project north, but on the site, true north is where it's at. Don't forget to save and subscribe.